Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a fun comparison video between, on the left-hand side, Ubuntu Mate version 19.04, latest release, and on the right, Ubuntu, stock standard Ubuntu version 19.04, both in their beta, but just about to be fully released shortly, so everything you can expect is uh, in these beta releases now that it's been released to the public. Now, starting off uh, at a very basic look here, we can see that it is slightly different, or if not slightly, quite a bit actually. So on the left hand side with Mate we have the uh, the the Mate desktop environment of course as it's called Ubuntu Mate. A little bit more lightweight, perhaps not as uh, pretty looking, maybe a little bit uglier, a little bit more bare bones in terms of functionality and then of course on the right hand side we have the Ubuntu stock standard uh, GNOME version which is uh, in the last couple of releases in the last year or so Ubuntu has been uh, switching across from their old Unity interface to the GNOME interface which a lot of Linux uh, desktops do use. Uh, this one is a, a bit of a has a bit of an Ubuntu touch to it so it is a got a bit of a GNOME uh, Ubuntu feel to it, so a little bit different to those other ones on the market there, so to speak. Uh, moving on uh, is the file manager or window manager. So if we were to open them both up, on the left, the green, the Mate, and on the right, the, U the purple Ubuntu, you can see they are a little bit different as well. In fact, on the left, it's a little bit more simplified, a little bit more old school, probably a little bit Windows XP-esque, and if you have a look at it, you'll see it's running the Kager file system, which is actually quite a bit more lightweight uh, file system, but it does have really full functionality and everything that you would generally expect from a file system. And on the right, we have what's called GNOME files for regular stock standard Ubuntu, which is, uh, it's it's also known as Nautilus here, so GNOME files, Nautilus, it goes by many names. It's been around with Ubuntu since long before they switched up to the GNOME as well, so that is uh, very much the same as older distributions of uh, Ubuntu, but that's pretty much it there. Uh, having a look at the, I guess, the nice different types of icons, I may as well have a chat about the icon packs, and for the most part, uh, there's a few differences, a few similarities, probably not something I'll get into much, and on that front, you'll see uh, uh, different sorts of software too, which I never get into, because software you can download whatever you want. They, You can get the same type of software on both operating systems. Uh, next up, uh, we can see the kernel which is uh, on the Mate side of things and the uh, Ubuntu standard, stock standard side of things. Uh, they are the same. Now, these ones are slightly different because uh, this hasn't been updated. This one has. So they both use the 5.0 kernel, which is really fantastic to see. Latest and greatest, which means you get more hardware support in particular. For example, uh, GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, all sorts of things there. So something uh, that Ubuntu has over Linux Mint. Uh, say for example in general and last but not least let's have a little, a little bit of a look at uh, the uh, the usage there so if we were to see the the hardware resource usage and straight off the bat you can see that Ubuntu on the right is very resource heavy or at around 900 megabits, uh, megabytes of RAM just with there's really nothing else open on this machine so that's a bit of a shame there whereas Mate on the left hand side as you can see is only hitting about 4, 450, 425, 400 that sort of thing uh, when the operating systems have been loaded up. So they've just been loaded up at the same time. Nothing really else to speak of is uh, loaded on there, and that's pretty much it. And that's the reason why a lot of people do use Mate. It's a bit more bare bones. It has the same basic functionality, but uh, not as pretty. Uh, it, greater for, great for older laptops or older desktops, that sort of thing. So that's where I definitely recommend it for. Definitely Ubuntu standard is, is a lot more resource heavy there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just in a nutshell, a bit of a fun, quick comparison look at uh, the latest and greatest releases of Ubuntu on the left, Mate, and on the right, stock standard Ubuntu. So thanks for your time, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Uh, all those sorts of things. Leave me a like. All those lovely, lovely things. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.